Hypernet. I am One Not Wonder, and tonight, as a matter of fact, right now, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a casting of some League of Legends. Uh, I'm going to be running two videos. The last one is going to be posted just before this one, and this is just another game. Uh, this is actually a ranked game, and it looks like we're looking at it as a little bit of a silver league, as we can see borders from either team. No ranks coming out from those Leona and a Moomoo, -Moo, and they're going to be loading directly right into the game. So, taking a quick look, uh, support Leona, Jinx versus Thresh, Sivir. Uh, Sivir's going to be able to repel basically the zap from Jinx, giving the, a little bit of an advantage to Sivir, I'm going to say. If they hook onto this Jinx, they're going to be able to insta-kill her, but Leona, if she gets the engage onto Sivir, they're going to do so much damage. This Jinx um, is the individual that I am watching. This is my friend here. Uh, he's the game that I'm spectating, so a little shout-out to Manix. But uh, looking at the team comp really quickly here, let me make sure that I get everybody all set. Jungler to jungler, Master Yi to Amumu. Amumu's got the CC, but Master Yi has the speed, a little bit of a jungle clear time advantage. Uh, looks as an AP Teemo versus Singed, Fizz versus Ziggs, ADCs versus ADCs. Uh, no crazy build starts coming out from either one. Singe picking up the Crystalline Flask, giving him sustain because Teemo is going to be up in his face up in his grizzle saying what up you're having a barbecue and I'm eating at it because well that's what Timo does in top lane he bullies out singed and Timo's gonna be able to run away I mean if gank comes in Master Yi's not gonna do anything but alt and he's gonna get melted by shrooms by the time he gets up into top lane but jungle to jungle again Master Yi's got a little bit faster clear time but Amumu has the the CC ganks along with the ultimate to really lock down anybody that they want if there's a particular lane that Amumu wants to get fed, like if he wants to feed this Fizz to hell and high water, which would be my choice uh, as an individual to feed, because when Fizz gets fed, even with his nerfs, he can still kind of carry a team. Uh, Teemo to Singed. Teemo is going to beat Singed as long as Teemo plays smart and just does like this poke in and out, dip in and out, dip in and out. Um, that's who I pick. I pick Teemo versus Singed. It's a great matchup. Fizz to Ziggs. Fizz is going to get poked out. <laughs> up until level three and then ziggs is gonna be in trouble um fizz can hard engage in at six fizz can easily easily kill them both junglers starting out at their blue buffs and then of course in the bot lane i'm gonna have to say it can really swing either way if it's gonna get down to a poke war sivir is gonna outpoke jinx but if it gets down to a hard engage jinx and leona are, are gonna win that bot lane if they play it out correctly here so Master Yi, though, picking up blue buff and immediately, immediately going to red buff. And as you can see, blue team well aware that this might happen. Pings should be coming out now any second, pinging, hey, there's a Master Yi here. And there they go. We see the rotation from Sivir, from Thresh. Thresh hook does go down onto the Master Yi. So much damage. Already exhausted. Master Yi has nothing. Master Yi is trying to run away. He does get the ghost out. And Fizz now trying to pick up the damage. The Ignite coming out. Fizz needs one more auto attack. It's not going to be enough. Master Yi is going to escape out of this blowing numerous summoner spells. Ghost out of this Master Yi. But that is a flash Ignite out of uh, out of Fizz. And then also an exhaust down in the bot lane. That gives them a huge huge advantage if they can actually get an engagement down no exhaust means this this jinx is going to have full damage the entire time now mumu does pick up his red buff is going to be ahead of this master yi and could immediately put the hook coming down now onto this leona as they do get a little bit of damage down oh but thresh just get rooted and if we take a look thresh taken down to about half health same with leona as Sivir's got more HP, but we look at up at the top lane, the Ignite coming out from the, the Singe. He needs to get one more auto attack, and first blood coming out from Singe. Does get the flip on a Teemo, toss him into the poison with the Ignite. And a Mubu ganking mid lane now onto Ziggs. Ziggs, though, is going to be forced to burn Flash, so now that is on cooldown. A uh, Mumu still has Flash, so he could easily Flash into somebody. Singe now has... It has Ghost up, but oh, and there he goes. He does flash right into the stun onto Ziggs. Ziggs, beautiful separation with his dynamite pack. I'm trying to remember what the heck this specific name is. So rarely that I actually get to see Ziggs. That stature charge separation was spot on, pushing Amumu away, boosting him towards the turret. Amazing play. Very solid, very solid. If we take a look, a lot of farm that the Sivir is going to be able to catch up on here. As Jinx, that's all you do. You get a couple auto attacks in, you switch to rockets, launch one. 
and you just splash damage, splash damage all day long. And then the fact that it can crit, if you go Infinity Edge, Double Dancer on Jinx, there's so much damage that you can do with rockets, and you still attack fast. But here's the Amumu now trying to make a gank. He is looking to get the bandage toss in. Oh, but the back pink's coming out from Purple. And they do notice him. They see, but here's Fizz with the engagement. And this Ziggs is spot on with his freaking stats charge. is unbelievable. This Ziggs now has escaped death two times already in a minute and a half. Absolutely unheard of. This Ziggs needs to, needs to play a little less Ziggs. He needs to go to a real pool party. He needs to get out because he is too dang good. I'm um, trying to once again come into this buy lane. Uh, maybe he's duo okay queue with one of them because this Amumu is uh, camping it out. Master Yi, though, trying to farm, trying to catch back up from his engagement back in the enemy red buff. He is going to be able to hold up mid lane, soak up some experience that way. Teemo to Sin, Singed, looking like he could be going the catalyst early with that health crystal, knowing that... Hey, if he has a bigger health pool, then Teemo's not going to be able to force him out, and he's still going to be able to farm. Leona looking to make an engagement, though. They do engage on a Sivir. Jinx is nowhere near to proc some of the sunlight, but does get one auto attack in, saying, all right, at least we got a little something. Now, there's Teemo. Like I said, all he's got to do is just be getting auto attacks, but he did die, and he didn't pick up anything. Now, he didn't have any money to pick up anything, but it would be nice to... Oh, he picked up a ward. Now, oh, there we go. He spent his 75 Gs on protection for his little self. Now, if he could only work on farming. <laughs> Missing last hits there for just no reason, trying to get some damage onto Singed. And that's all you do. If you can sacrifice taking a little bit of damage for making sure your enemy misses CS, it's worth it. Because that extra 20 gold, 18 gold, uh, you know, 24, whatever they're missing, is money that they're never going to get again. The damage, you can heal it. You can heal a wounded soul. But there's Ziggs with his little statue charge blowing himself away. And it's a little ducky ring. I didn't know that. That's an adorable little ducky ring. Oh, Jinx just missing the last hit. But Fizz now with the engagement knowing that it, the statue charge is on a 12-second cooldown. And here's Amumu trying to make a gank into the mid lane. Oh, but Leona with the engagement. And there comes the Jinx with the root now. Sivir's going to be forced to bury her out. Jinx switching over to her rockets. This is going to be forced to flash as well. Exhaust now from Thresh. No summoners in bot lane. Thresh has flash up. Sivir has nothing. Jinx still has barrier. No summoners, though, also from Leona. As here comes the pings saying, hey, guys, I need some assistance in mid lane. There's the pings also saying, Leona, hey, I got this. Maybe they're going to try to triple gank this Fizz in mid, who's giving Zig such a hard time. But if we can see, oh, and here comes Fizz. He is going to get the engagement out. Zig's blowing everything he can, trying to get as much damage. Oh, and Leona with the beautiful Zenith Blade is going to catch and pick up the assist along with a kill. That's going to be more money for Purple Team. That was a beautiful play, and I guarantee this Fizz did not see that coming. Not only because there's no wards down there, and he may have noticed the Leona rotating, probably figured, hey, he's just going to ward Baron, not going to gank my lane. But that Leona making a beautiful play, saying, all right, look, bot lane's fine. We just we blew some summoners. I'm bored. Let's go kill him in mid. And there you go. As Timo, looks like he's maxing blinding dart. I mean, if you are AP, yep, there he goes. Max in the blinding dark, getting the harass onto the singed. And here comes the ping singed saying, hey, look, I need some assistance because Timo's a scumbag. And exactly that. There comes the assist me pings coming out. I would be begging that right from the start. I'd be saying, yo, Master Yi, I know we need to come gank this Timo before he starts laying shrooms down. But singed and, and Timo laying down more shrooms. Oh, but Fizz with the engagement. Oh, and he doesn't commit. He already uses playful trickster. Did get blown up from the separation. And every time this Teemo leaves, leaves, Cinch can get a little bit more farm. Cinch can try to keep himself in this game. Now, he's already winning. He did pick up the kill, and he's up in CS. But, oh, Fizz, so much damage coming out. But Ziggs with the return. Oh, the Ignite now from Teemo. It's not going to be enough. Master, you're going to go and pick up the kill. The slow coming down now. Teemo unable to do anything. And there it goes, just missing the shroom. But the engagement down from the Leona, the solar flare coming out. They are going to pick up a kill onto this Thresh as Amumu is rotating, trying to get a stun out. He's looking, he's looking for anything. The flash ultimate coming down onto Jinx. Jinx's barriers now going to be popped. Leona going back in onto this Sivir, but oh, so much damage onto Jinx. Jinx just says, forget it, forget me, I'm a goner. Oh, and Fizz did get the dive off, but it isn't going to be successful. Amumu now, all he needs to do is get one auto attack in or the stun. There we go. He picks up the kill. Assist now onto the Sivir. He should have waited, turned off tears, and allowed the Sivir to pick up the kill. 
give her a little bit more of an advantage, but we look and see Jinx picking up a BF sword. Sivir's not going to be able to pick up a BF sword, but she is going to be able to finish out boots if that's what she opts for. Now, Singe does get the catalyst, which is going to allow him to sit in lane f forever, indefinitely. He can use his ultimate for sustain. He's got the crystalline flask. He has the catalyst now. And Master E, all he has to do is go up into top lane with red buff, and he can kill a Teemo over and over and over and over. But the big threat is they need to worry about this Fizz. This Fizz, he is a little bit behind in farm, but he does have the capability of killing this Ziggs over and over. But Ziggs is spot on with these stature charges, so we'll have to see. Now, Teemo doing normal Teemo things, saying, hey, don't fight me, I'm a little rat. I'm going to run around and do stupid stuff. Now there's only one Shroom left in top lane. Pink's coming out from Master Yi saying, hey, what up? And he does have the red buff. <laughs> Master Yi is going to pick up this kill on to Teemo. And Singe isn't going to be able to get anything as an assist. I lied. He did pick up one assist, but Fizz now rotating onto this Master Yi. Fizz needs to throw out the fish. Uh, but he doesn't. Does he? Oh, and he doesn't have it. It was so close. It was like five seconds off. Oh, man. Take a look at the bot lane. Zap coming out. He's probably been putting all this damage. Oh, Solar Flare just missing. As Zig's putting some damage on. Oh, beautiful, playful trickster getting out of that turret range, making sure he doesn't take the turret hit. And there's Zap. This Sivir could be using Spell Shield to just absorb that. I have not seen a single Spell Shield come out from this Sivir as she's also yet to back. Um, if we take a little look at the gold count for bot lane. Right, they're exactly at even. However, oh, Mumu's trying to run away from Singed. Does blow Curse of the Sad Mummy to save his own life. Singed could just be giggling his little head off there because that is a easy, easy victory. And Sivir, you, what are you doing, kid? Why are you tanking, tanking the rockets? Just run away. Singed know that there's a team in the bus. Bush. Blah, blah, blah. Leona knows where all the wards are placed. Says, hey guys, this is warded, that's warded. Come in this way. Master Yi, when you get a chance, be a little more of a baller and get some more kills. Uh, I mean, we take a look. Master Yi's got 55 farm, which is awesome. Absolutely awesome for a jungler. I mean, we see a Mumu who also has it, but that's also because he was holding top lane a bunch of times since Teemo's been dying. And, oh, this... This Sivir's taking so much damage from this Jinx's Zap. I don't know why she's not spell shielding. Oh, and Singe just... Again, he, he looked like he wanted to possibly go for the engage there, but he doesn't. Fizz taking so much damage now. This Ziggs is just able to poke him out. And this, this Fizz, as soon as he has his ultimate up, he just needs to come back full HP and hard engage. But Ziggs looking to make maybe a rotate down. No, he does just pop the ward up. Oh, and Teemo versus Singe. Teemo does use his Ignite. This isn't going to be nearly enough to kill Singe. Singe is just going to sit there and let his uh, his health regen. Could use his ultimate to get a little bit more health regen. He says, assist me, Master. He says, all right, I got this. It's a free kill. Why not? I can't be slowed. Oh, playful tricks are coming out from Fizz. Is going to dodge that, that uh, wet water balloon. Oh, but not going to be enough. And Zig's looking to get over oh, there is the engagement now on the Thresh. So much damage, but Amumu coming into play as well. Solar Flare coming out, going to be slow on both of them. Amumu does not have ultimate. He is nothing but slows, but Thresh does secure the hook, picking up the extra CC as Amumu trying to zone out. Oh, but does provide an out for this Leona. What a freaking play. Oh, one more auto attack. There we go on to Jinx, and Jinx now zaps so much damage onto this. Is she going to be able to bury it? Oh, Leona comes back for the play with a stun. Oh, the Zenith play just missing. And Jinx needs to switch to rocket and auto attack. She needs the auto attack. What just happened? This play in bot lane, phenomenal play of the flipping day. Master Yi was sitting up in top lane. Is going to pick up yet another kill onto this Teemo. Oh, and Singed is going to die. He got so greedy. He needed to back out of that situation. That would have been a free assist for him. And we can see that this Thresh either is flipping mad uh, gave up, Q cute or what? And Fizz using his ultimate to actually farm creeps in mid lane, which that's a that's a sad day when you have to use your own ultimate to farm creeps. I mean, if you're Lux, okay, but you're Fizz. Your ultimate is intended to kill people. Slow uses the CC. Not the case. He is so far behind. I mean, we we see he's down by 30 CS, and it, it's not looking pretty for him. Not looking pretty. But Thresh, he did quit. Don't know if he's upset, internet connection problems, or what have you. But this is Silver. 
Anything can happen in silver. Oh, the flash stun coming from Amumu isn't going to land as Ziggs is going to continue to farm. No one's going to be able to stop him. Master Yi. Uh, Leona picking up an early oracle knowing that there's no wards here. Says, guys, we can do dragon. It's no big deal. Leona says, don't worry. I'll tank it. I got this. And Ziggs does take mid turret. That's going to give them bonus gold on top of the dragon as well. Sin's just not giving a flying F. Oh, but Amumu's so close. Isn't going to be enough. The ignite coming out from Ziggs. One more auto attack. Isn't going to be enough. As Ziggs does try to land the bouncy ball. Master Yi coming in for the cleanup. Oh! The stun! The blind stun! Boop! Picks up the kill on the Ziggs. This is going to make it a 1-1 one one here for a trade. Master Yi, 4-0, and oh, has a BF sword as they engage right now onto the Sivir now. And Solar Flare is going to pick up the kill onto her Leona with the kill. Just absolutely crushing. Purple team is stomping. Blue team, this is very sad to see. But Fizz is rotating bottom. He does have his ultimate up. He's looking, maybe going to try to pick a kill up on this Leona. As long as that shield is the Fizz. Does get his ultimate out. So much damage though onto this Leona. They are going to ignite. Leona does get the engagement out as... Oh, Jinx tries to keep fighting. Singed did just burn Teemo's flash. Oh, and Fizz does get the engagement right back on. Two more auto attacks is going to be it. One more Fizz is all you need. Shut down. Bonus gold for this Fizz as Master Yi sits and waits, stalking his prey. All his eyes, he can see that it's time to fight. Singed, do your job. Give him a flip. Ultimate coming out from Master Yi now. The Alpha Strike ran into him into the flip, getting everybody the assist. And that is going to be a kill. Singed. Could use his crystalline flask to make sure that he doesn't die. He does have two charges still left. Doesn't even care. Says, F it, I'm a baller. As Master Yi. And now if you're playing Master Yi, don't do this. Don't, don't do this. Don't pop your E on turrets. It doesn't do bonus damage. It just gets rid of the damage that you could do. Because you're not going to do true damage to turrets. So for anybody out there that plays Master Yi, stop. Popping your E. This isn't classic Master Yi, all right? Just, just please. I mean, I'll even let me show you. We click Master Yi. We see, and the active, it, it deals true damage, but then it goes on cooldown and you lose the bonus. So just, just don't. That's all I have. Now, if we take a look, it is zero turrets for blue team to three turrets for purple. It is 18k to 26, seven to 13 kill difference. Oh, and Jinx looking to do a little bit of kill and does get the zap down onto the Sivir as they're in engagement also onto the Teemo here. Sivir is going to be able to ult away. The traps did not go off as Purple Team is going to secure yet another turret and possibly another kill. The Ignite coming down from Leona, it looked like. Yes, yes, it was. Leona does have the Ignite picking up the kill onto Teemo. This Leona is 4-2. Uh, and... Two. and Fizz is trying to get maybe an engagement out of this Jinx here. Says, I don't want to do it. I want to back out. I don't like this. This is a sticky situation. I don't want to get chummed in these waters. Even though she already did, but she doesn't want to die. A Mumu could be coming in from the backside here. It's nothing but a Mumu and Sivir trying to get the fight down. And Jinx is going to fight right onto this Fizz in the bottom. And they do engage onto a Mumu. So much damage going down on this Leona now. Solar Flare is going to come out and stun. A Mumu is going to drop here. And in the bot lane, it's we can still see they're duking it out. Half HP to a quarter HP. All Fizz has to do is jump in. Playful Trickster and the Q. And that's exactly it. Just like that. Boop. Life flashes before your eyes. You're dead. Oh, and Sivir putting out some damage now. But Ziggs is countering it up. Isn't going to be enough to kill him. And if Ziggs had his ultimate, he could pick up a single. Oh, well, now it would be a double kill. And Teemo, if he gets queued one more time, is going to be the end of him. I don't know if he's shopping right now or what, but he is taking a risky stance by backing in his base. And another little tip for anybody who plays, once you have Tier 2 boots, if you back anywhere past this row of stairs, it's faster to run back than it is to actually hit the B button, go into base, and heal. Because if you run, you'll get to the steps faster and you can heal in the fountain. Little trick... Don't ask how I know that. Way too much playing on this game. As we see Singed once again free farming in the top lane. Teemo can't stop him. Fizz is looking like to make a rotation up. Like, hey, I'll take some of this farm because uh, Teemo doesn't care anymore. Welcome back, Thresh. Oh, and there's the engage from the Fizz. No chum the waters, though. 
is it's already used, and Singe is just going to say, ah, whatever, YOLO, I'm going to run away, screw it, thug life, don't care, eat my poison trail, you can't kill me. Now Thresh is level 7, and we take a look at the enemy team, level 13s, 12s, all over the place, but there's the engagement on to Teemo, Teemo is going to get to the lantern, and escape with a zap, oh, so close, oh, and Jinx trying to use the ultimate there, the super mega death rocket, not going to be enough, zap now coming down, Onto a Moomoo, so much damage, and he does get rooted as Jinx is going to sit there and get some free auto attacks in, along with some free harass off of Ziggs. Everybody looks as if they're trying to make a split push on the bottom. A lot of minions that are back there. Master Yi and Leona, the only two in mid lane. Everyone asking for assistance in mid. If they do a little bit of a split push here, Leona, no need for a tank. Oh, so much damage, and Fizz is going to pick up the kill. There we go. The, the passive, basically, damage off of... Fizz's W is going to be the uh, the deciding factor for that fight. That Sea Stone Trident. Oh, so much damage coming down on the Jinx. But Jinx is going to get a shutdown kill. Oh, but not enough. There we go. Once again, Sea Stone Trident picking up two kills now. Oh, and Cinch is trying to run in, but does get slowed. Good take from that Thresh on the Sivir. That, uh, uh, that water balloon could have gotten Sivir really wet and put her into the uh, watery death of the... Uh, wa oh, but the flash stun coming out from the Mimu into the ultimate. Turns the tears on Tantra coming out. Oh, but he just... Oh, man, what had happened there was for, I do believe, the first time that I've actually witnessed Ziggs messed up his stature charge. He had it. It was right here. He was like, oh, I'm just going to run over. And blew himself right into Teemo. Teemo then flashed, shot a poison dart, did pick up the kill. So we, we see that kills are getting a little bit more evened out. Gold is still a 10k difference as Purple Team also pushing yet another dragon down. Going to give them even more gold. Blue still with zero turrets. Uh, they haven't taken a single turret. I mean, we could look at some turret damage here. Bot turret almost at full HP. Mid is at full HP. And top is that full HP. Um, wow. Uh, for Teemo that was pushing Singe so much, he didn't take the turret at all. Or, or hit it, which is surprising, but okay. And here's Leona trying to make maybe a little bit of a play onto the Amumu here, but Teemo is going to give Amumu just enough cover saying, I got you. I got you. Oh, but Thresh with the hook onto Leona. Not the person that he's going to want to hook. Ziggs is going to get a little bit of free damage in there. As Amumu does land the stun, he does not have his ultimate putting so much damage onto this Leona. Zap coming out. Leona with the solar flare stunning everybody. Ziggs is going to get the ultimate out now. Oh, where's Jinx's Oh, Bye-bye. There's Super Mega Death Rocket picking up one kill, and she's going to be able to continue on for a chase onto the Amumu. One more auto attack, and that's going to be a switch to Rockets. Girls shoot and splash damage. Oh, and Fizz, so much damage. Just pick up a kill onto Jinx. And Master Yi can't be slowed. He is going to get an Alpha Strike off, which is going to kill this Thresh here once he actually can get vision on him. There we go. One auto attack, double kill. Solid, solid play from Purple Team. They got engaged on him. Mumu didn't have ultimate. He had used it on Ziggs earlier. And this counter solar flare into Ziggs ultimate with the super mega death rocket. If they were in position just a little bit more if this Jinx had been a little closer to the wall to utilize the explosion, the kill off a of Sivir, the movement speed passive, could have ran around, easily picked up a second kill, but this, this Amumu does have a Leandri's Torment. Uh, he's doing a lot of damage unknowing to the enemy team. You don't think Amumu's going to do all this much, and then all of a sudden he's burning 12% of your HP a second. And there we go. Sivir is going to get this kill on the Singed, maybe. The Ricochet isn't going to be enough. Oh, my girls! This Amumu and the Ziggs. Something about it. This is just crazy. Oh, and the Flash coming out from Fizz. Is it going to be enough? No. Oh, yeah. No, it's not. No, not even close. This Singed just popped the ghost, but Teemo. Crazy little Teemo. Uh-oh, Singed. Shut down. Teemo picking up yet another kill as Master Yi trying to make a play onto this Fizz here. Oh, juke to juke to juke to juke. He needs the Alpha Strike right there. Beautifully timed. Exactly as I said, if he Alpha Strikes, he would pick up the kill. And now he's going to go on to this Teemo. Is he going to be able to pick up the kill on a Teemo? He does get the damage off it. Meditate. And there we go. 
This SVU is playing just like how I would. Spot on plays, picks up two kills as Leona tries to engage onto this Amumu, but Amumu does so much damage. Jinx does miss the zap and does flash over. Does get the solar flare off, but now Jinx is going to die. Jinx will die to this Amumu, period. Words? Oh. I have to eat my words there. I did not think that Jinx was going to super mega death rocket to pick up the kill onto Amumu. I thought she was just going to sit there and auto attack, and if she did, she was going to die. She had wasted flash. She used barrier super early. Uh, damn nice play, Jinx. That was spot on. Great play. You picked up the kill. Hopefully, if, if Purple Team realizes the advantage that they have, they can do a split push, or they can do one big team fight, and they could they could win. The only threat they have to worry about is Fizz on the enemy team, and he doesn't he doesn't really have much. I mean, he does a lot of damage, but not as much as somebody as a Fizz with his KD he doesn't have the most farm, but with his score could be doing. Uh, as opposed to having the hourglass, he could be running death cap. Uh, or a full-on Lich Bane with a needlessly large rod and doing a lot more damage. But Master Yi is in the bot lane, and it does look that we have a Fizz and a Mumu that are rotating down to him, probably to say hello as they're going to take the enemy blue buff. Master Yi does ping. Uh, they are on the bottom. Leona says, hey, guys, we can do Baron. There's no wards here. And as you can see, there really are no, there's no ward coverage as Master Yi rotating is going to get right up to Baron in no time. Thresh is going to be the only person as Blue Amumu, that is the smite, is going to be in bot lane. They're putting so much deeps onto this Baron. They could easily get this. There comes so much damage right on the Thresh. They're going to counter-initiate onto him, and he's going to die. Master Yi showing up to the party a little bit late, but don't worry, guys. I got this. Does land a, a smite. Not even. Jinx ends up picking up the kill for the Baron. Giving them the health regen. Now you can see Singe is getting 21 HP a second. If he pops his ultimate, he's going to be getting even more. And... And there's just, there's a Teemo right here. Like, there's there's nothing that he's going to do. He is going to single-handedly die here. And, yep, yep, he just, just death by poison. That's a, that's a suffocating death. I mean, there's there's nothing that you're going to do. It is, it's over for you. Now Fizz is there. Could get a, a little fishy up in this mid lane. Possibly pick up the kill, at least on, no, nope, no, he can't. He doesn't have the damage yet. Leona does get the stun off onto Fizz. Fizz trying to play full trickster as a Mumu comes in. There's a solar flare that is going to pick up. Nobody has a stun. Jinx getting taken solo. Fizz's ultimate coming out now. She does get chummed as now it's just Leona. Sivir is going to be able to chase. One more auto attack is all it's going to take. Oh, now she ults for a little bit of a chase potential, but this is what I'm talking about. They can just do the split push. We see Ziggs in the top lane. We see Z uh, Master Yi in the bot lane. They're doing a split push on him, and blue team can't answer. They can't stop them from pushing as Ziggs now is going to get into a little bit of 1v1. With this Amumu, oh, it's so close. As Teemo's going to pick up the kill now onto the Ziggs here. The Ignite is going to come out, and it's not going to be enough to kill Teemo. So close as Master Yi does pick up a bot turret kill, and we can still see Blue has zero turrets, and that's exactly it. They got into a 3v4 situation in mid lane. They put Master Yi in bottom, they put Ziggs in top, and they just split push. And they, they have no answer for it. Nobody can 1v1 this Master Yi right now. Uh, the only person I would say who can even attempt is going to be this Amumu and a little bit of Fizz help. Um, by a little bit of Fizz help, I mean like 2v1 this Master Yi. But Fizz looking here is going to try to play full trickster over the wall. Does fail. Uh, 800 crit coming out for Master Yi on that Alpha Strike, which is going to give Purple Team yet another dragon kills 20 to 25 now the gold difference though is a 20k difference just absolutely insane just about 20k all right it's a little bit less than that but still the zap coming out <laughs> chunking sivers hp curse of the sad mummy up in about 10 seconds if we take a look here no not even it is up now here comes the engage if there was ever a time to engage singed is not there Mumu making a ping saying hey guys we should check dragon it's not there oh and timo being a little ninja does get spotted jinx doesn't even see him how is that possible timo is gonna make up the kill on the jinx and there goes the adc 
Oh, and Teemo with a beautiful play. However, there is an engagement now. Master Yi is going to die. Beautiful dodge from this Fizz. Sivir is going to be forced to just auto-attack now. She does use the barrier. Ziggs is still trying to get a kill down. Not going to be enough as a Moomoo's ultimate finally coming. There is no backup. Ziggs does get the kill on the Fizz. Not going to be enough, though. That mushroom was the last thing. He got to huff and puff, and he just blew his life away. Now, Singe finally showing up to the party. Uh, definitely late here by a long shot. Uh, purple team really needed to not fight that, but they walked right by an invisible Teemo. Jinx hit him with the zap, didn't notice to look at him or, or what have you, and uh, paid with her life actually on it. But we take a look at the gold here as everything kind of gets a little bit calm. 10k to 6k. Jinx is so mu like double the size of the Sivir almost. Everybody on the enemy team is double the size. Master Yi is huge. Singed is big. Ziggs is big. Everyone has money. And they're just, they're not utilizing it. They're losing small skirmishes. Purple team really needs to get it together. And I am scared to see what that chat is saying right now. I mean, it is Silver League. All it takes is one fight and people are going to call GG. The kills aren't that different. And if I was blue team... I would just team fight. I would push up, and here we go. There's the Amumu Sun coming down onto the six. Once again, a beautiful separation, but the Leona trying to get a little bit of initiation in. She's going to get caught up position. She's going to be forced to flash away. Solar Flare coming out with the six damage. Mr. E is going to be able to get a kill and immediately go right onto this Fizz. Does get churn out or chum down the water, and they are going to pick up a double kill from this Fizz. Who is going to be forced to flash away? Now Jinx is showing up here, and they are going to pick kill. They're going to pick up a kill. Onto this Fizz, and there we go. One successful team fight, and just like that, that's all they needed. Purple team needed to actually stay as five, a full 5v5, and they, they'll win a fight, and that's exactly what happened. Leona got caught out of position into the Ziggs ultimate with the Solar Flare. Master Yi with a cleanup on an Alpha Strike, picking up a double. Singe is now tanking. They're telling him to back off, but he doesn't care. He's like, what do you want me to do? I'm a Singed. I have so much health regen. Just give me a Baron buff, and I'll get 25 Oh, and that change places. A lot of damage, though. Oh, and Master Yi is not going to engage. I thought he had Alpha Struck to it. They're going to just take that inhibitor and back off. Small victories. Baron is up in a minute and a half. By the time Purple Team backs, they can clear out wards at Baron, which, as we can see, uh, to the unknowing individual, there are no wards there. And we see the back pin coming out from Blue Team saying, hey, guys, we need some vision. They can be going and doing it. They don't have the Baron timer themselves. They have yet to clear out that icon. Sorry for that. It is a late night for me. <laughs> But Amumu is going to catch this. Master Yi does get the stun off. So much damage. Master Yi is going to be forced to alt away. And Curse of the Sad Mummy is not up. It is now up. If Amumu had just waited seconds, he could have picked up that kill on Master Yi. And then they could have done Baron in the minute. Dragon is up in a minute and 55. Oh, so much damage coming out from the Ziggs. And Ziggs is going to die. All right. Well, uh, that... That play was just, I, I can't believe it. Ziggs did so much damage. Fizz was getting melted. He tried to initiate and got counter-initiated on and backspun and messy situation. Everything just flipped upside down. And as, as Will Smith and the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, oh, they're going to engage right now. Mumu Mumu misses the stun. Is going to be forced to ultimate out. And now into the flash. Leona with the solo flare. Beautiful stun. Right onto Amumu, and he does not pick up the Lantern. Singe says, uh-uh, scumbag. Sits right on it. Teemo now putting so much damage onto the Ziona, and she is going to be forced to take out of the turret as Ziggs is trying to get a kill. Oh, double kill coming out from Teemo now. As Singed is, is taking some damage from Shrooms. Jinx is trying to push up. Master Yi is pushing bottom, split pushing. I don't know why they didn't just five-man mid. Uh, and just wait it out. They're not waiting for teammates. Zap just missing as Singed is uh, going in. a little, Maybe a little bit too ham, considering it's only those two versus three. And here comes the pings saying, Master Yi, come on and help me. Uh, Singed is pinging it. Jinx is running on over now. We'll have to see if this Master Yi, he's probably going to take the red buff and then rotate on up. He's like, hey, guys, they may have vision. <sighs> we don't have anywhere to clear it. Uh, I mean, even though they, they have no vision, everyone's saying back up, ping, attack, attack. 
And blue team, if they go over to this Baron right now, they can they can easily turn this game around. I wonder if they're going to make a play. Mumu is in the bot lane here. And here comes Thresh once again. Lone Soldier all by himself going and checking Baron. They're saying back away pings, but you can clearly see a Mumu in bottom. There is nothing that they need to fear. They just saw them clearing mid. And here comes the Baron kill. And they are going to maybe, no, oh, here comes Siver, going to be face checking first. Not what you want to do. Teemo's in front here. Does get the blinding now on a Jinx. Half health. Teemo's going to be forced to get out of there. This does get zapped, and now he gets Twin Shadows. He is so slow. Beautiful play. Siver's going to die. That is good game. There is no way that they can lose this now. Absolutely solid play from Purple Team picking up that last fight. They picked up the Baron, singed back because he was super low, didn't feel like going on any farther. Oh, the zap. Oh, just misses from Jinx. But the Leona does get the engagement on. And putting up so much damage. The Amumu ultimate coming out. Look at all this damage. Oh, Ziggs dropping down the ultimate. But he is going to die. He brings the fish right onto the, the Jinx here. Oh, and Zap does just miss. His Fizz now does have his cooldowns back up. But he does get Alpha Struck crit. <laughs> down to nothing. Zap is going to slow this Amumu down to nothing as well here. Amumu going to be doing so much damage. Oh, and Master Yi does get a better damage. Oh my goodness, and he survives. Beautiful play. Beautiful game from Purple Team here. And, and that's, that's as quick as it can go. Blue Team, like I said, all they needed to do was at the Baron fight go in as five. I don't know why this move was bottom. There was no need to be pushing into the bot lane. Uh, the only thing they had to worry about were super minions pushing in mid. And they could have rushed to Baron. Singed was low. Master Yi was already taking damage. And they could have won. I mean, a Mumu ultimate into Fizz with his fish locking him down. There was there was so much damage that could have been put out, and they they opted against it. There was pings that said go to. No one followed him up. Um, and and yes, yeah, Swift C. I mean, we take a look. They took zero turrets in that entire game. Blue team won four distinctive fights and had people up and did not push a single time. Because there was one time when they could have actually pushed. And there was a Zig Stop and a Master Yi bottom split pushing. And there was nothing they could do. Uh, they had to go back and defend. But that game, absolute shutout. Blue team unable to take any turrets. Purple team coming back with one fight. And that's all it takes. When you get to that 35, well, actually roughly 25 and onwards, you can really just toss the game away with one singular fight. Now, Purple team by the end of the game was 30 thousand gold higher than the enemy team and i don't know why they weren't pushing or pressing the advantage that they had they continued to just farm and farm and farm but uh no they they should have ended that game a lot sooner 14 and 1 out of this master Yi, good play uh singe did his job as well just being run around being a scumbag but it, it's a, it's a sad day when you can add up the bot lane together and it equals your adc uh i mean there's there's a problem there but no big deal that was a good game thank you everyone for tuning in i hope you enjoyed once again if you have any comments on how i can cast a little bit better anything to make it more enjoyable for you uh, i have been told that i can toss a little bit of music up in the background when i'm taking a drink so that you guys have something to listen to um, i will try that for the next time and as always as my final goodbye make sure that if you're going to go swimming, you put on swim trunks. Because if you wear normal shorts or your undies, you can get chafing. And that's, that's never fun. You don't want that to happen. Anyways, have a good night, guys. Thank you for watching.